All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hit this pin, and that's going to push the plunger to exert an, a, a force on this, these two carts. And the carts are what we call the system. And right now they're at rest, so the momentum of the system is zero. Once the pin fires the spring, they'll move out like this in opposite directions. And what you're going to see is that the momentum of this cart is going to be equal and opposite to the momentum of this cart so that the system's momentum when they're traveling is still equal to zero. Kind of give you a little heads up on what should happen. Now, we're going to kind of cheat. Usually we take uh, and measure velocity and multiply the velocity times mass to get the momentum of each cart. But we're going to cheat a little bit and we're going to not measure the time, we're only going to measure the distance that these travel. So the distance is going to represent the velocity and to do that we're going to make sure that these both hit the ends at the same time. When they do that, that means that the distance that they traveled represents their velocity. So we aren't really calculating a momentum, we're calculating something that's very similar to it. So what I've done is I've kind of positioned these to where I think when they move, they'll hit the ends at the same time. So we're going to listen for a single click. A double click would mean that they would hit one hit first and the other hit second. So what you want to listen for is a single hit. So here goes. That's pretty good. That was excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure the distance for the carts. And for cart one, if you look at it, it's right to here, and that's one point or fifty-one point three centimeters. But we recorded in meters, so Mr. Laurent wrote it down already for cart one's distance. And then for cart two, that one went to was originally like this, so that cart went to right about here, so that was about 50, about 0.565 meters is what it was originally, we bumped the, the meter stick. So when you take the mass of cart 2 times the distance it went, that's what you're going to re record right here, and then for mass um, 1, you're going to take its mass times its distance that it, it traveled and record that in these two columns, and Mr. Lorenz doing that right now. And you'll notice that within the error that we have in the experiment, the momentum of each cart is relatively the same. So the third column that he's going to do right now, he's going to divide the two um, momenta and when you divide the two, if the momentum of each are the same, their quotient will be equal to one, or really close to it. And so Mr. Laurent got... We're pretty good, Mr. Lee. 0.986, that's pretty close to one, so physics tramps again. Awesome. Cool, so that would be the, the end of uh, trial one there.